guys, I'm back with another reading here. I'm just clearing some of these energies. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. And welcome back to my channel, Net Knows Divine Healing. Um, I know in my last reading I said I would... Well, I told you how excited I was to show you guys the cards. So, I am indeed excited about that. Let's clear some more energies. And, um, before I even started the reading, um, a card out of the deck, um, out of my newly created deck, that had the personality identifiers um regret kept coming out um and I didn't realize or maybe I didn't put it in yet but it did fall out uh caught my attention so someone is definitely in regret I'm gonna use this one well I'm gonna leave it out here I let that be the basis of the energies for this reading. I hope you guys had wonderful holidays. Um, I honestly, I was going through probably the worst part of uh, not feeling too well. I was at the climax of feeling pretty shitty. Um, but thank goodness I'm feeling better now. Uh, let's see here. Alright. I shuffled these last night. And, uh, bad influence is what we're, um, looking at here. Someone who's in regret and could have, uh, influenced someone negatively. And I'm going to pause here. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I apologize for that distraction there. Um, so, yes, regret. Someone is definitely a regret. This has been sticking out. And um, I'm going to give you a little insight about what's in here. And then after I shuffled um, some new entries of this deck when I shuffled them in you know mixed them in um, bad influence okay and let's see okay well I'm gonna just shuffle here well um, I already shuffled them so I'm just gonna um, I need to let you guys know some of the cards. I have house cards here, personality identifiers. Um, let me find one to show you. So you guys will be up to date. Um, oh my goodness, it's hard to find one of those. Um, I made so many new additions. Okay, here's one. This is my personality identifier card. Um, using your fingerprints here. This is what it looks like. The T means the thumb. So this is the thumb to the pinky. On your left or right hand, um, they signify if you look hard at your fingerprints, you'll some of them are deep loops, some of them are circles that center, and the X's and O's represent uh, the pattern from your thumb to your pinky, and it has um, a personality uh, description on there, like this one has. This one says, you are usually hard, you are usually hard during the youth time, as long as you can make great effort and work, 
you could get a footing in society and have a good fortune. This pretty much means you usually, so this person was probably resistant during their younger childhood, you know, their younger years, and their personality is saying, as long as you make great effort and work, you could get a secure position in society and have good fortune. So this person probably had a rough, uh, rough youngerhood, childhood, but if they make good effort and work in whatever they're doing, they could secure, they, they can get a secure position in society and have good fortune. Um, so that's pretty much what those are. House numbers. <laughs> uh, so like this is house number nine. This is an example. I'm showing you what's in the deck. Um, house number nine are people born on the 9th, 18th, or 27th of the month. Um, these people, um, well, this means being selfless, kind, and selfless and kind, compassionate. This is a compassionate house. So anyone born under these numbers is more than likely um, a kind person. And this is a house of universal love. And I'm starting to think that a lot of like the star seeds, uh, indigo, um, uh, however you want to, um, earth angels, however you want to um, classify them as, or classify these type of people as, are more than likely born under these, um, um, under these days of the month, and that could be any month. Okay, uh, let's see, and the rest of the cards are healing messages, things that you guys um, more than likely need to know. And if you're watching this message here, I will um, almost guarantee you there's something that you probably need to hear or need to know. So, I am just going to shuffle these and we can get started on anything the angels, ancestors, spirit guides, um, the higher ups. Celestial beings. And all that good stuff. So we're gonna get started here. I'm just gonna start shuffling and see what the collective needs to know. Anyone watching this video that you guys need to know. And I've already cleared the energies. So here we go. Let's see how the spirit. What do the collective need to know? Uh, okay. These are three that came out. Um, the first one that came out is get a life. Um, someone needs to focus on their own life and stay out of other people's business. Um, the next three per three people came out here. Um, the first person, you are a person of word and kind hearted. Someone is, someone is the type of person you want to be around, um, and they keep their word. Uh, the next person is, you are blessed with good luck and personality. You are strong minded and imaginative. Strong imagination there. And... The next person is, you are experienced in consensuous, 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 con, 
Sensuous and steady in work. Consensuous, okay. So someone has experience. Consensuous. Hmm. I may have to look at that definition, you guys. Give me one second. Because I, I have to know. Let's see. Definition of consensuous. Well, well, this is consensual, so I'm guessing this is someone, a decision making, someone who makes decisions here. I will say that. Someone is experienced. So these seem like really um, high vibing people. Um, that could be around someone who should be minding their business, their own business. Okay, Holy Spirit, any other messages? The collective needs to know when you are watching this video. Any messages, Holy Spirit? Yeah, someone's in regret. Somebody could be in regret about not minding their own business. I mean, if you ask me, I feel like that's... I don't know. I know to each its own, but I feel like that's the easiest thing you can do. Any more messages the collective needs to know? Hmm... Interested, not interested, undercover investigator. Oh, let me show you the cards. Not interested, undercover investigator, loving, and lie to company um, or organization. And someone underestimated the wrong one here. Um, yeah, someone lied. Um, someone's not interested. Someone is walking away and doesn't want to be around a person, place, or thing. That can be some of um, some of these players here. These players who are. It looks to be high vibing, to be honest. Um, these people are together. These people are on the same team here. Some experience. Uh, some steady in work. Yeah, this could be a boss here. This could be a boss figure. And some other people who are, um, some people who are blessed and Someone who's strong-minded and imaginative. Yeah, this could be a boss. And then loving came out after lied to company. So they could have lied and said that someone was not loving. Or said something that was not true about a light one. Earth angel. Um... Yeah, someone underestimated the wrong one here. I feel like you have a strong um, creativity. Or whoever um, someone's lying about. Okay, let's get some more messages. This undercover in investigator. Someone's no longer interested in something, someone, um, person, place, or thing. Let's keep going. 
way too many okay I see untrustworthy aunt Noah uh, this fell out it's the first thing I seen and this is what was on the other side here so there's an aunt that is untrustworthy um, let's see here since those didn't fall out I'm not gonna take them out okay uh, the window. Hold on, you guys. Oh. I like having this picture right here. I don't know if you guys see it beyond the light. But I think this picture would be something that would be like if someone is posing as me and they don't have this picture, it is not me. Because I have noticed there's been a lot of. Um, shady, shady activities more than likely going on. Um, I don't know how someone can confuse who a person is. Uh, more than likely you don't know that person. If you can be misled, misguided to believe something, um, I don't know. I, I'm not so easily persuaded, I'll be honest. That's just me. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? Okay. Two things come out. All things come. All things come to him who waits. Being patient is so important. And I know you might think, oh, that's so overrated. Patience is a virtue. I'm not shitting you. If you can wait, or just, um... Be productive and do something else and not and not focus on being impatient that you know next thing you know you know it'll be your time to have whatever whatever it is you're looking for um, and then the next card that came out is insensitive so someone is showing or feeling no concern for offers I mean oof that offers others, you know, some of the, some of the ink bled through, so. Okay, yeah, someone, someone has no feelings, so no feeling, no concern for others' feelings. They're not aware or able to respond to something. Um, and the easiest thing you can do is just to treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, just imagine you talking about someone behind their back and just think, like, would you want somebody to do that to you? You know, if you can correlate both of them and have that drive your decision to be better than gossiping, slandering, and lying, um... I don't know. I feel like you you have a better life, to be honest. Any more messages? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Any more messages for whoever's watching? Alright, I seen this one earlier. It came out. Someone is a bad influence. Just simply a bad influence. Being around someone is, is, is just bad. It's just bad for, it's bad for your well-being, it's bad for your mental health, physical health, it's just not good. Alright, I see snake eyes here, snake eyes right here, okay, we'll see if that needs to come out, alright, yeah, someone's in regret. Alright, let's see what else do we have here. Let's see what else do we have here for the collective. Uh -oh. That one wanted to come out. Let's see if it comes out. Let me do a complete shuffle. Any more 
messages. I should have pulled that out when I was there. And that's okay. Okay, cousin is sticking out. This might have something to do with the cousin. Because, oh no, not cousin. Gossip. Alright, somebody is a gossip girl or this could be a male, female, male, female. Somebody gossips. It's a bad influence. Okay. Any other messages, Holy Spirit? What else does the collector need to know right now? What is the messages the collector need to know? Okay, that fell right out. Untrustworthy. Someone's untrustworthy. Um, I don't know if I should take all of these out. Should I take them all? They're all sticking together. take them. They're sticking together like this. I must need to take them. Yeah. Yep. Alright, so someone is untrustworthy. Very much. Someone who gossips. Untrustworthy as ever. Someone could be experiencing hell, hell on earth. No lie. These are just stuck together so that means I need to put them out and seduce um, someone might have seduced other people um, to um, to be to be under their influence and here's another player here let's see you are irritable and have strong self-respect. You are not only a person of words, but deeds. So this is someone who... Someone could... Someone could have um, an irritable disposition. Like, they could be in an irritated way personality wise but they have strong self respect um, so you're not going to disrespect them in any kind of way and you are not only a person of word but deeds so this person don't just talk the talk they definitely do what um, do whatever it is they say that they're going to do and this card was right behind it I didn't find what I was looking for, but I found what I needed. Someone could have been looking for something else. Um, that they thought that they wanted or... You know, this person found what they needed. Rather, it was what they originally was looking for. They found what they needed to find. And here's another player. Last card. This person is, let's see, you are outgoing and usually have a lot of friends. In addition, you could do good in work. So this is someone who is outgoing, have a lot of friends. And they could do really good in work. So this is a positive card. Someone can do good in work. If they put their energy towards, um, they, you know, put their energy and focus into work. Okay. I'm going to have to put these cards over here. Are trustworthy? Yeah, some of you have been seducing people. Or they could have been 
gossiping and telling people that you're seducing people, collective, um, but they're experiencing hell on earth right now. Uh, being a bad influence, this person is insensitive. They don't care about people's feelings at all. They probably gossip and seduce people to believing whatever, um, whatever they're pitching, right? Okay. House number nine keeps sticking out. Hmm. Let's see here. Slight adjustment. Leg was going to sleep. Alright, let's shuffle. Whoa, 26 minutes. Any more messages? Oh, just don't want to. <laughs> That's crazy. The cards are slightly sticking in my hand. I think I should have took that alarm out. I need to stop thinking the second time and do it the first time. Hail, the Spirit of Holy Angels. Any more messages? Whoever's watching this, Holy Spirit, what do they need to know? This one kind of got turned up right here. Okay, caused friends, family to experience bad karma. Someone being um, this bad influence has caused people a loss of uh, security, the finances, business opportunities loss of time, um, the loss of time focusing from focusing on improving their own life. This person has definitely taken something that is almost impossible to recover uh, time. Um, time wasted, being unproductive, um, yeah, someone has caused their group of friends or family or both to have these losses. And that is... <sighs> that's not good. Someone's gossip and being insensitive has not only caused this person um, a loss of security, finances, business opportunities, um, and it's just time wasted being unproductive here. Alright, let's keep going. We're at 28 minutes. Anything else on the spirit? Anything out of this deck? Oh, this one flips right here. Karma will always be an echo of your actions and intent. Someone's experiencing bad karma, or let me just say karma, because karma can be a good thing when you do good things, and karma can be a bitch when you've been a bitch. I'll just be honest. Um, yeah, someone's experiencing hell on earth right now. Oh, yeah, someone's experiencing hell on earth. If someone doesn't change for the better, they will be living in this. Um, and nothing is going to get better. So, change is it's always a good thing. Right. Please save yourself. Because... You know.
yeah, deceitful, manipulative. This one's right on top. Someone has been very deceitful. Um, been deceiving others. Wasting time. I'm, I'm going to take that one out. Yeah, didn't want to learn lessons in school and don't want to learn lessons in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Enjoy the small things you find on your path. I'm just, I'm just pulling. Alright. And uncertainty. Someone's uncertain more than likely about their own future. Someone needs to meditate. I'm just pulling from the deck. Um, a faithful friend is a strong defense. A faithful friend is a strong defense. Um, this person has not been a faithful friend um, to anyone. Um, no matter what they were pitching, no matter what stories they were telling. It's 20, 31 minutes here. Okay. Let's see how this bears. Is there anything else? I'm going to do a quick shuffle here. My goodness. Any more messages Collector needs to know? Okay. Two cards came out. We have here wounds. Wounds can create monsters. Alright, so Greek word for trauma is wound. The trauma you have suffered will begin to surface in personality and behaviors. It's never too late to start your healing. Seek therapy. Talk to your guardian angel. Ask for help to start. You have to start by asking for help. You have to start by surrendering to your bullshit that's how I started my healing I surrendered to my bullshit I said you know what I don't know you know when you're in a place where you don't know how to continue you know you've morally fucked up for sure um I surrendered to my shit I was in a bad place I said I, I don't know what I'm doing with my life I need help there's nothing wrong with that but if you keep acting like nothing's wrong I promise you hell on earth will be what you get you know and God's not going to force you God gives us he you know like we're afforded the freedom of choice we can choose to, or we can choose not to. And the second card that came out was another person here. So let's see. You are active, patient, and of strong emotions. Although you have strong self-respect, you usually accept assignment. So this person is accepting the box that people put them in. And, and they conform to what other people are uh, doing or saying. Um, yeah, this person, uh, you are not following your path, but the path that others set out for you. This is, this is someone. Um, this is someone, and I'm trying to give you a hand. <laughs> Literally, like, I'm trying to give you a hand here. And your hand is telling me that you have followed you are not following your path and you have the heart to follow your own path 
you just have to trust it. Do you just have to trust it? Okay. And we're at 35 minutes here. Um, I'm not going to use my other created decks. I'm not finished with presenting um, my, my new decks for the collective. But this is definitely to help, to help you guys heal. Um, I have to do it. Nobody is above healing. And that's a fact. If you feel like you're above change, well, you'll stay right where you are. And, um, yeah. Someone definitely underestimated the wrong one. More than likely, this was an earth angel. This was a star seed that was underestimated. And I got a feeling they often are. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to leave it here, Collective. It was so great seeing you guys again. And letting you guys see my my created personalities which are real i have 31 personalities here and these are real patterns and i'm gonna leave it here for you guys and i hope you have a great rest of your day bye